Oh, it's amazing. You know, um, the energy that I get off him is uh, always positive. You know, me coming in here my freshman year, I played with him, uh, you know, with, uh, on defense. And um, kind of my freshman year, my first memory is kind of get thrown in the fire against Concordia and um, Jesse catching a pick, and I was in front blocking for him. So that's a real good memory that I have of me and Jesse. Do you think him and today, I mean, it inspires you? Oh, most definitely. Um, it's just, um, you know, you see guys get drafted, and, you know, you don't know them, but, like, this is, like, kind of personal because I, I played with them in school and I know them personally, and it's just, like, uh, inspiring, you know. It's, it's, it lets me know to keep working, and, and uh, hard work does pay off. What do you envision him in the NFL like? Um... You know, same as same as high school, same as college. He always kept a, a monster work ethic, and um, he always uh, played smart and ball hawk. And you don't see that in the NFL now. You see uh, hard hitting safeties, and, and Jesse's a smart player. So uh, anywhere he goes, he's going to develop to the program and do, do great things. Well, he's never far away. I mean, he's he's a kid that's always stayed in contact, and um, you know, it's. It's no different than any other week. He's always kind of around, and whether he's here in person or, you know, now with the ability to be able to FaceTime and talk and text, you know, he's always he's always really close to to the people here at Snyder High School. What's it like today for you? Oh, just a, a proud moment for him. You know, it's it's great to watch good things happen to great people, and um, you know, to see someone that's put in the work that he has. Um, and to be as focused on goals that he has been to get to the point where he's going to realize that, we're, we're just proud of, of that someone gets to see that work pay off and see it to fruition in, in accomplishing you know, some of the goals that he has in life. This isn't his ultimate goal, but it's one of the goals. And um, we're just proud of him and all the work that he's done and the person that he is as he's gone about all this. Uh, that he gets to realize one of those dreams and goals, you know, in the next couple days. Obviously, the NFL is not the goal or the dream for everybody. It's not realized. When he was number five, weighing about 150, 100 buck 50. Yeah. I mean, did you did you see NFL in him? Um, I don't know that we ever think like that. I don't know. It's, that's hard to do. Not you know, number one because we're not exposed to NFL players and their talents all the time. So. Um, we focus more on, you know, just are they are they developing the skills that are going to allow them to be successful in whatever endeavor they choose, and you know, certainly he was on that kind of path. Do you think it inspires? I talked to Lawrence Johnson. Do you think it inspires others to, to follow that path? Absolutely. To see somebody that that walked the same halls, had the same locker, you know, wore the same kind of pads accomplish one of the goals that he has. I, I think that's true with, you know, Christiana Hicks and, and, the, and what she's doing with her music career, that somebody that walked these same halls can experience what a lot of kids have as dreams, that it's accomplishable, you know, with the hard work. You know, that, that's the misconception that they, they've, they're they accomplishing this with talent alone, but it's the dedication, the hard work, the hours, the commitment to be in, you know, to be able to put yourself in those kinds of positions to accomplish those goals. I mean, you know, very few people know how hard those people work.